Hello everybody, I'm Ian, Railed of the Summoner. I am a new guy on this here server. Yeah, this is what's known as the Wooden Spoon server. Obviously, if you can't tell, it's obviously Minecraft. Uh, so, what this is, this is a vanilla server. I'm going to get straight into this. We've got a vanilla server here. It is like purely straight vanilla. There's the odd plugin for admin stuff. That's pretty much it. This is just for admins and for like all this par extra information stuff. Things like that and general eye things like that. There's not even like a um, uh, like a plugin for, for like one man sleeping either. So you can't even do that. So sleeping's a bit of a chore. There's one of the mods. So we've got a load of admins on this on the server at the moment. It's quite a popular one. Um, I think it's got about at least a hundred people on the server. Uh, only about twenty at a time, give or take. It's twenty five at the moment. I've literally just logged on, as you can see, I'm literally empty. Uh, so we've got these ones. There's a few rules, obviously, like no stuff, uh, no no mini, um What's the name? What should you call it? Um, no griefing. Uh, you're not allowed to use the um, the fishing farms, the auto fishing farms. They're allowed. You know, and you're only allowed to AFK. Own well, I'm not sure. I don't think you're allowed to AFK in particular. But if you're AFK for half an hour, you're automatically kicked off the server. So it's not ideal. But let's have a look what we've got here. Welcome to 1.14.2. Yes, I have actually played in 1.14. I've barely played in 1.13 to be honest. But hey, what we got? You may experience some significant client and server lag yes this is due to poor game optimization well done mojang on mojang's part yeah, there you go chunks load very slowly and and, fa and falling in unloaded on fla yeah falling in unloaded chunks will trap you until they finish loading we recommend turn your render instance down and don't use the nether or load chunks unnecessarily. Right, okay then, in that case, let us uh, go to the My Options. I'm gonna lower it down immediately if falling through the floor is one of those things. Right, uh, video settings, chunks. Let's take it down to 21. Just for now. Right, damn. right if that's what we get. Okay then, uh, right. So this is the main spawn area. Do not take these under for dudes spilled and spawn. Uh, there are a few people on spawn. Looks like we've got the Notre Dame on the go, it seems. And oh, these are the scaffolding blocks. I've never actually used these yet. How do you use them? Is it just with a ladder? Yes, it is. Oh, you, you jump. Okay, and you shift to go down. Ah, they are sweet. I've always wanted to use those. Oh, they look cool. Right. Oh, as you can see, they've already got beacons to the go, so the wither's been killed at some point. Oh, there's some lag already. They've got some um, quite a bit of stuff on the go. Um, unfortunately, we're not really allowed to do much here. Other than this is literally a spawn area. Um, I think there's, I think the admins are pretty much um, working on this kind of stuff. But this looks cool. It's like a cross. It's like it, to me. It's reminiscent of the front of Notre Dame, and that's from, that looks like the symbol from the uh, Minecraft story mode thing, with the four coordinates. All I need to do is change the colours for them. Right, so, what I'm going to do, I don't have a map, uh, I need to get to a, sp a place where I can um, pretty much, ooh, we've got a little lookout there, we're going to have a look at that. We've got, we need to find a place where we can get to. Ah, I am running. Where I can start a base of my own. Um, how do I get up here? Is there a particular way to get up here? Probably around the other side. So, yeah, I need to find a place I can get my base. I have an idea if it isn't taken, and I'll start heading my way up there in a little while. I just want to see what's up there, what this thing is. Here we are. I've got to it. Let's see what's this. How do we get in? It's, there's a door behind a tree. Eh, nice and cosy. 
We have to get up the stairs. Hmm. That's a cosy one. Shame we couldn't have to render distance too much for fear of dropping through the world. Not ideal. Goes up quite some distance. Hmm. Whose chest is this? I'm not allowed to move it. Yeah, it's a bit of lag. Hmm. Fair dues. Right, Ian. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you on to the actual website for now so we can actually just show you what I'm doing and where I'm going to to begin with. So, I'll see you on the actual computer to show you the website. It's got a cool website, I'm not going to lie. The website's amazing. Right, fellas, we're on the actual map at the moment. This is the website. It's a really cool website. Uh, I'm just going to show you a bit more of it. Uh, we've got the main website here. It's created by one of the admins. I'm not sure which one in particular because I've not been on here long. If I actually tell, so it's this guy, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Squid Newbie, he's made it. We've got a few of them. He's the main guy. We've got a green, green Newbie. Brassman, Haberson, if you want some, Haberson's the person to get it, yeah. God, he's an ace with getting your stuff. Uh, also, so we've got a couple of things, like staff and voting, and vote for like servers and stuff. A couple of pictures. Uh, I can't wait for them to load. But here's the cool part, the map. They've got a normal one and vanilla one, but this is basically an actual live map. You've got all these actual people who are actually in the game. Um, and there's me. I'm there beside the church and there's actually a little desert village here i'm guessing that's already probably been raided yeah. now we actually have these x's here you can see now that's literally the spawn area and you are not allowed to build or take anything down you're not allowed to cut any trees even inside this area so you've got to go outside this area and oh some buildings here look this is probably something to do with the boundary maybe Possibly. So really, what we want to do is we need to get through this. Uh, we have them to go this way up or through the main area. Which, it's a bit of annoying to go through that, but hey-ho. But what I want to do, I want to get to here. So I need to get to 208 or two, minus 200, minus 1400. It's not too difficult. So, right. Now that I know this is where we're going to, I'm going to try and see if, I can, if it's not taken. I don't think it is, but I'm, it's always best to check. People have to mark their stuff out. We've got a nice village here, which I'm assuming is pre-made. I don't think it's any, It's don't think it's a, I'm oh, sorry, a pr not pre-made one, an actual player created one, as opposed to one of the new villages that I've not even looked at yet, so... Well, this is where we're going to head up to. I'm going to see if anybody lives there first. So, minus 200, minus 1400. All right, fellas, we've got here. We're back at the Notre Dame thing. Uh, now, we need to go in some direction. I think it's this way, isn't it? Uh, doo -doo -doo. 46, 45, 31. Yes, we need to go basically that way. A good few bit distance. Um, and I could look through with this standard XYZ, or if I go, okay then that's ominous. All oh, right, someone's gone into the end an achievement. Fair dues if they made one, or I know someone just entered it. It's been a, it's been a while since I've gone in there. But if we actually go, we, um, do do do, so tap in trigger, CH, toggle put that we now have our own compass hmm oh there we go yeah you actually have to move move a bit and it's actually it shows you which which way you're facing and where else you which direction you're going in as well it's not 100 percent quick for it obviously it's not like as fast as this but it saves you having such a huge thing on your screen, so. Oh, it, and plus, if you're lagging, it's going to be a bit difficult as well. So, let's go to about there. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. It, only, it sort of rounds the numbers, I believe. So, you can be a bit here and there with it. But now, it saves us having that. So, we can actually wonder. And it's actually got the time as well, the time of day. 
Uh, so it's much more handier in that sense as well. Now I am completely out of anything. I need to basically get out of the border as soon as I can. Ooh, uh, helpful if there's less lag. Whoa, okay, there's water there. I thought I heard something coming. But those beacons are cool. How much range do those beacons have? Or have they got like a... Oh, okay, there we go, yeah. I was going to say, they're taking some time to get disappear. Right, ooh, wow. Jumpy. Right, so then I'm going to head over to where I need to be. And hopefully... Right, yeah, it's mostly this way now. So I'm going to head up this way. And hopefully I should be getting somewhere towards my base area, and unless I need to make a little stop off. So first, it's time to go and head to Thingy. I'm not going to walk. I'm going to walk there actually because it's. I've not got a lot of. I've not got any food whatsoever, and I don't want to be taking too much damage. So I'm going to walk the rest of the way, pretty much. So I'll see when you've got some kind of update for you. Well. We've made it to the wall. Whoops. We've made it to the wall. Yeah, I'm still not able to break blocks, which means I'm probably not going to be able to take this either. But um, that's probably going to be turned into some part of the thingy. Some part. Was it someone's thing? Was it part? Or was it part? I don't think it's part of the spawn. Yeah, no matter. So I've got to get over the wall in some manner. Um, Right, uh, ooh, someone's in there. I'm gonna go say live. Oh, some kind of village thing. Ah, oh, it's just a sheep. Oh, blimey. Love arrow. Hello. That's a lot of sheep. A lot of cows. Yeah. I'll leave them to it. Wow, no wonder why it's lagging a bit. A bit of a clock. Yeah. Right. I'll continue. Right. It seems I can break blocks past here now. Which will help. All I need now is to find some kind of bed. And somewhere to get some food where oh well this is someone's living area so I can't exactly take this ow that was stupid oh I want this food it's not mine to take right, fellas I've started grabbing up a few things we've got a um a uh, good few a few blogs and whatnot I need to start turning it on no, that's not. All right, I don't know could do it like that. Fair enough. I'm going to turn all these into normal planks. Let me make ourselves one of those. Uh, a few sticks. And then that way we can start to get a few things. Uh, something else. Like, oh, we get sticks from trees now. Come, give me the sticks. Give me the stick. I want the sticks. Give me the sticks. Ah. Yeah, might be the lag. Right, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself some actual, like, stuff to use. So, right, uh, yeah, I need the two at the moment. Let's see. In fact, I don't even need two. So, I'm going to make myself an axe. And then, and then like, a sword. I'll do me juice for now. Come on, pick up the sticks. Now, something I've noticed is anytime like a leaf despawns, or sort of despawns, is it despawns or sort of the, um, dissolves into nothing, however you, I know, falls away, supposedly, then I've noticed it sort of the, um, does that noise you can hear all the time. Just, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little annoying. It, Took me a minute to figure out what on earth it was, but hey ho, it will live. 
it's nothing too bad. Mushroom, I'm actually going to take that because if I end up needing to make some mushroom soup, which at the moment it looks like I might need to, it's going to come in handy. Need the red ones though. Wow, Ken's getting quite late. This isn't good. Yeah, I think they've got one uh, something on here where we, um, depending on how many people are on the server, uh, will tell and if, if and yeah, if if the um, mobs will spawn. I think it's mostly because of the lag system, because it's the um, because of all the lag. It's gonna you can't really have the mobs in all the time. So mobs happen only come on when there's less than fifteen people. Otherwise, it's it's way too laggy. Especially on this point one, the 1.14 server. On the previous one, it wasn't too bad, but hey, what are you going to do? Right, so we are getting there. I've gone a little sideways. So actually, we shouldn't be too bad. I've got a sword just in case I find something, but I'm pretty sure mobs are off for the time being while there's 20 of us online, 27 of us. So, I think I should be okay to wander in the night. So, it, it's a... I know it, it, it's, it's a little different, the fact you've got no mobs, but it, I'm not going to complain, especially when I'm pretty much alone with literally nothing but a sword and an axe and a crafting bench trying to get to somewhere. Right, so we're nearly there. We've got a couple hundred left straight in front. I'm going to bat this way a bit as well, though. Uh, I'm hoping I can come across some some kind of food. Um, hmm. So that's kind of the problem. Because mobs don't spawn, neither do sheep or foxes or wolves or cows or anything that I, require, I can get food from. So, or even a bed, because I can't even get a bed yet at the moment. So, it's a little difficult. Right then. So this is where we're starting, and unfortunately it's a gravel one, which is not what I wanted. I was hoping it was a normal one. I didn't realise it was a gravel. Alright, let's go and level up there. Didn't want a gravel one, I wanted a um, normal one. Hmm. Alright, we've got coal, so... Ooh, pickaxe. I'm going to make that now. Can't believe I forgot to make myself a pickaxe. I want the one of these because we're getting stone very shortly. Give me that. Yeah, sticks can go there. Blocks there. Seeds there. Mushrooms there. Sorted. That. There's experience here. Why is there experience? Oh, we've got llama. Is it neutral? Free experience. I am not going to lie. I don't mind that. Right, uh, right. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get that coal because I need that coal. Let's don't run. There's no mobs for me to harvest. Right. Where was that coal? Here. I'm taking this. Oh. Right. So I'm gonna wander around here a bit, and then grab us some stuff. Um, things like a bit of stone. This coal. Maybe some more coal. I'll source them over that way. So I'll see you when I've got a little bit set up. Yay, a pair of cows. Hello. I'd love to keep you both, but I'm hungry. Ooh, nice. Three, three chunks of meat. I'm surprised I got that much. Get in. Nice. Oh, only four that time. This is going to be my new sort of base. Um, so, we have her all here. What you have to do, you have to claim your base. So then, I uh, have to replace this down. There. Here we go. This is probably one of the most expensive things I can think of, to be honest. And I can't even make it yet. Do that first. Put them in there. The other two. 
you seriously need to get more than what you put than just three really because i do not think three is enough like by far so uh, we're gonna go down this way i'm gonna float along here bubble and yeah it's fine it'll cover that up right uh, so we are that's about central to where i want it is it you stay for this uh, one two three six seven eight a two center uh, that works out quite well actually so put this there so let's go here relith base there we go you have to do that otherwise it's not your spot and if anybody comes it's your fault for not putting your thing down right then. first thing we need to do is we need to clear out some space and get some stuff on the go so i am going to meet all what well, first thing i'm going to do is going to get my i think actually you know what i'll make a new one i can have one up there and down here then yep new one it is that a new one much more ideal and seeing as the center is mm. Mm. so yeah there those to the center so now i can make like stuff in here right what i want i'm going to make probably go through and cut down all these trees and this floating grass and i'm actually going to start start up some um, a nice little small area some some trees i can cut down and some food hopefully i.e wheat so let me just get started on that hopefully i can find some sheep as well i need a bed well i need a bed i can't really sleep much so that's redundant okay that i'll ignore the bed for now oh yeah, well but yeah i'll get that with stuff ready all right then fellas i've sort of made a mini setup i've got a teeny tiny farm here and i found some sugar came from literally right there you could just about see the other one and um, i've got rid of a few of these trees as well i'm starting to make a bridge with them uh, i'm not keeping this wood it's gonna be in stone eventually but at the moment wood is all i've got until i get inside the cave or I'll say cave we're making our own cave oh we're not another fella Welcome, fellow. Yeah. Bring on the new people. So we've got quite a few. I think there's about 35 of us on at the moment. Something like that. 33, yeah. We're getting, up, we're getting quite up there. Problem is, it is quite a lot of lag having this many people on. But, yeah. I'm not exactly in a position to complain, am I? So... Yeah, I'm literally going straight to the end of here. It should too long. Uh, yeah, I want like the little mod thing, so I could just literally just click there and it places it on the side. Oh, that'd be great. I am glad we're not. I'm not got any mobs to take care of as well. Oh, don't we all need a creeper farm? Good creep. Good to have a nice, decent creeper farm. To um. Good to help with the fireworks when you get in the lighter. That's one reason why I get in. The sugar cane on the go, so when I get one, it'd be absolutely amazing. Let me guess, fireworks for your lighters? Yeah, probably more than likely. Most people want that. Unless you want it for TNT, and it's not something you want to be getting a lot of. Oh, oh here, TNT is well. There. Oh, I'm gonna. It's not gonna stay flat. It's not gonna say this. I'm gonna completely change this. But we are going in here, and I'm gonna have to dig out basically a nice decent hole. But I suppose it would be a good, uh, good uh, yeah, idea, a good um, start to help with the door to begin with, because um, I'm gonna make a nice cool door, I reckon. Something nice and well. How should I put it in? It's gonna, it's gonna be basically a redstone piston door because I quite like my redstone. I'm not gonna lie. 
So I like to shuffle a little bit just to like get you know, add a bit of the um, cool factor to the to the build as well. Have a nice openable front door, pressure plates and things. Right, and then we've got the last ones which go on here. This. Oh. Right. Oh. right. That's that. I'm... Oh my god, I got that bang on. I could not have done that again if I'd tried. <laughs> right. Right. Screw doing that by hand. I am getting a shovel. I still haven't eaten those cows. They're in my inventory, waiting to be eaten, but still haven't eaten. This one seems to be a ghost, I swear down. I can't pick this one at all. Right. So then. Let us get angry. Uh, and I want a, Oh, no. Cobblestone. That one. We're done with those peasant wooden tools. Despite the fact I've got a sword still. Right, this is going to be a little annoying. Right. Oh, I so want an iron thing already. Now, I'm going to dig out a bit of a hole and we'll get it sort of into a position where I can just go in and basically half block it off so I'm not safe from things when we haven't got 30 of us on the, on the stream. Stream. Online. Alright then, fellas, I've got myself a new nice long H, technically, but no, it's not really a H. Uh, basically, this is my um, this is my entrance way at the moment. We've got a nice space laid out for where our door is going to go, as soon as we can get that sorted. Um, yes, at the moment it's a giant hole, but we'll rectify that when we can. Uh, do need to build this back up, which I'll do right now. This isn't going to take too long. As long as it actually like loads up. There we go. Uh, I've got a nice bridge on the go now. A nice bridge all the way there. That's all sorted. Uh, I've got a few chests in there now. Uh, hopefully they'll fill up relatively quickly with some stuff I need. I'm hoping. Uh, I would have cleared out a few more trees. Or maybe even like a little tree farm area maybe somewhere. But... I don't think I need to do that at this point in time. So I'll save that for later. Let's just fill this back up. Oh wow, the lag's real. Right, yeah, that should be better. I'll put like a thing on top of here as well. Um, one of my little signs to say I'm living here. So for now, I'm all good. Hopefully I can get some food. Uh, try, I wanna try and keep this steak for more important purposes. I've got one wheat at the moment. We finally have one. We've grown a wheat. We are f we are officially farmers. I'm waiting for that. Oh, that's nearly done. Almost, not quite. Nearly there though. I do prefer the new textures though. A lot easier to notice when one of these is done. No sugar cane yet. No, just no none of the two sugar canes grown yet. I thought they'd probably be growing at least one by now, but apparently not. But um, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and set up a small um, mining setup down below. Hopefully I can get some strip mining in there. Ah, oh, that's my Norton. One sec. There we go. My Norton's blooming popped up. I mean, it's almost running out. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do now is perfectly build that, get, some, get the mining done. And once that's done, we can actually get a nice... Piston door on the go. Hopefully we need to get some slimes from somewhere. Hopefully we'll find some down there. If not, I'm pretty sure someone will have a thing by now. A um hopefully they'll have the um a slime farm. We'll see. Anyway, uh we'll start that in the next episode, but for now I'll see you in the next one. See you fellas.